I see you over there, staring right into- Where are you even? Are you staring? Like, somewhere over there? I don't even understand. But what's up, guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care. As it's time to save our sister. So, let's go! Link, how rude of you. You didn't even shut the door behind you. Oh, but there she is. Surrounded by seagulls. Daz. Daz. Wake up, Daz. Ah, oh, thank God we've been saved. Somehow we didn't drown when we were, like, unconscious, but pull yourself together, Daz. But some mysterious guy in a red boat will hopefully save us, right? Yeah, there we go. Wow, this boat's smaller than I thought it would be. Wait, who was talking? Hello? Am I hearing things again? Well... Have you come to your senses yet? Whoa! You are surprisingly dull-witted. A talking boat? <laughs> Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear. I am not your enemy. Daz. I've been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how you des how your desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to f fearlessly stand up to anything, but such a bold attempt was foolhardy. I saw you. I suppose you saw him, the shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is Gan. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the dark realm the ancient legend speaks of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, Daz, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, but I am getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can sail no seas. I have brought you to the far east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in a wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. So how did you save me? 
This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavours at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. Okay, so now we are here on Windfall Island. And actually, there's quite a few things we can do here to start off already. I know, quite a bit already. But, first, let's just sort of sit back and l just look at the view. Well, okay, All the m at the moment I'm just seeing this guy who's like really top heavy in weight and a massive building in the way. But, this place is gorgeous. This whole game is gorgeous. I mean, look at the guy in the background now. He's like got all shadows and stuff on him. We've got little lens flares on the screen. And, ah, oh, it's just great. Are you okay, old man? You look a bit upset. Oh, oh, if you please, young boy there, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Uh, okay. Oh, my sweet, sweet daughter. My only daughter. Poor Maggie. She was captured by a bunch of villains and taken to the Forsaken Fortress. Oh. What on earth could those scoundrels want with her? Are they roaming around looking for young maidens? Are they just evil creatures who delight in mis mischief? Well, crud. Having a kidnapped daughter doesn't give you a single rupee, you know. Please, please my, save my poor daughter. I beg of you. Here I stand, begging. I hope you'll give those scoundrels in the Forsaken Fortress a good scare. They'll pay for what they've done. Oh, yes, pay. Ah, Sorry, man, but... Okay, so... What are we going to do first? We're going to come up here, and... We're going to come up... What is the sign? Look at this. That is, like, one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Is his tongue out as well? Like, he's like, ah. If so, then that's horrid. You look upset. Goodbye. You, ooh. You reminded me of Mario. You've got, like, the whole, uh, I don't know what they're called, like, strap things over your shoulder. Wow, these people are interesting. My story is a strange one. I came across the Cursed Seas from a land far away. A land where the blizzards blow violently, heading for this town called Windfall. Dear me, my ship was torn apart by vicious winds, and their island is where I washed ashore. There was one other person with me. Yes, there was. But I dare say he was immediately arrested based on what his somewhat suspicious looks and thrown right into jail. Yes, just locked up somewhere on this island. Needless to say, I'm really worried about him. Would you be so kind as to help free him from captivity? Indeed, it would be appreciated. Oh. Okay, well, we've already got our first little side quest. We need to go find a jail, and I, of course, of course, I could just search around and be like, where's the jail? But I know exactly where it is, though I guess if you use some logic, you'll work it out as well. So you've got some island with buildings and stuff on a mountain. So if you're on a mountain, where would you put the jail? How about underneath, underground, you know, where like, in where all the gremlins are, you know? Put them in jail underneath. Well, here we are, and who's in jail, you ask? I see the same the same green clothes and the same green hat, but the, by the look of you, I'd say, Sir, could you by chance be a fairy? Goodness! Did you feel my telepathy? That's why you saved me, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Well, I mean, there was another guy telling me about you, but do not worry, Tingle knows without you telling him, Sir, yes, sir. Tingle's, Tingle is my name. I've been looking for you and your kind for I, too, long to be one of the fairy folk. And yet I was mistaken for some kind of tr troublemaker. I sound more Irish and Irish. And Irish and Irish. And put this into dreadful sort of place. How disrespectful. But please, Mr. Fairy, rescue poor Tingle for th from this place. And take him to where you and your kind live in splendor. O okay, I guess. That's a good enough excuse. Crazy fairy man. There you go. Your feet sound like horse cloppings. Hooray! Thank you all so very much! Here is Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Tingle, Tingle, Kulu Limpa! Become an item! <laughs> I like how Tingle does it with us. You got a Tingle bottle. Using Miiverse, you can insert a message you've written and send it out to see for someone unknown to receive. Send it to blah 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 blah. Be aware, you can't write letters if you're not connected to Miiverse. 
Another new feature of the Wii U version. I'll come to that more in a minute. Mr. Fairy, are you familiar with Miiverse? With it, messages put in this bottle can be sent to fairies from the world over. A communion of minds. Hearts beating at once. Just don't write anything unpleasant, okay? Now that I have to remind you. Not that I have to remind you, Mr. Fairy. Splendid. Tinkle is returning now to his own special island. Will you come find him? Ah, I was forgetting something important. Oh, Mr. Fairy, you want to come to my island, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Ba -da -da -da. You got Tingle's chart. <coughs> Doing that sound makes me cough, apparently. What kind of chart could it be? Head out to sea, then check out, check your charts on the map screen to find out. Open it on the map screen. If you ever need any help with your charts, just leave it to Tingle. Don't worry about it. Or don't even forget about it. And I've completely lost the voice. And if you'd like to give your Tingle bottles that little extra oomph that all Tingles crave, you should check the back of this cell. Check it right out! Okay, creepy man. I like how Link never even said a word. You can now send letters in Tingle bottles, use blah 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 blah. More tutorial stuff on the gamepad. Allow, yes, and no, don't receive spoilers. Wait, there we go. There we go. Alright, I just made my settings all set up. So, with the Wii U version, it's connected more to Miiverse, and you can basically, like, uh, make messages, put them into bottles, and then they'll go out onto other players who are playing at the same time. And, also, you'll just, like, be casually out at sea, and you'll see these bottles, you know, just randomly placed places, and you can just sort of see what other people have to say, and, oh, we have to go through a maze. This is the first example of when you kind of got to be more careful about where you go, because there are traps here. But I'm sure we'll do fine. So I'm going to keep going forward. With this, I probably, like, during long voyages at sea, I will probably just... Have, have I made a dead end? I have. Okay, never mind. I c I'll probably, like, while I'm waiting on sea, if I don't speed it up, because there can be some long journeys. But if I, if, I, if I don't speed it up, I'll probably just, like, list all the bottles that we find. Or, like, at the end of a voyage, I'll, like, list all the bottles we found by then. And also, see on the right, the floor looks like sort of wooden that is a trap there's a rat there that will pull a string or pull some sort of cord and you will fall back down and you'll have to go back again so don't fall for that trick so this is one of the few one of the well, actually i'll say few this is one of the many things the wii u version has improved another thing it improves is just speeding up the animations of many of the things you do i would sort of explain them now but they're kind of spoilery so i guess i'll explain it in the future because it doesn't matter anyway because we're here this room it's full of skulls. Are you telling me? I'm... Mm. Is Tingle really innocent? I mean... Date unknown. At last, I have succeeded in stealing the Picto box I have desired for so long. Succeeded, yes. But sadly, due to a slight mistake on my part, I was only... I was caught... Also caught. I have been imprisoned. But I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my captures. I have decided to hide it here in the depths of my cell. And then make my escape by telling them out. Yes, that is my plan. Ugh. Okay. Of course, if I ever successfully escape from this prison, I shall one day return to recover the Picto Box. I will write controls for it just in case I should forget them. Yeah, yeah, blah blah blah. Oh, plans blee. I just wish I could get out, get out of here so I could start taking pictographs. So that kind of spoils what's in the chest. Inside is... You got the picto box. Set it to blah 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 blah. It can hold up to twelve pictographs. Press ZL to view your pictographs. That is also an improvement to the pictograph in the GameCube version because in the GameCube version, I believe you could only hold three. So this time you can hold twelve. That's a lot better. I'm going to show off this trap. You go here. It's a little rat. He pulls on this little bell thing with a bow and. You're now back outside, right in front of the King of Red Lizers. I've no idea how that worked. Like, there's no hole here or anything for them. But I guess it doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to put this picture box on R, because that's what I usually do. And with it, we can take pictures. Yay! I'm going to take a picture of this guy right here. Yeah. Go on. Hey. Hey. Hi. Oh, I always press the wrong button. I always press ZR to take a picture, but it's A to take a picture. So, hey. Hey. Boom! Save this pictograph. You know what? Yeah. As you can see, the pictograph is in black and white. We need to go through a little bit of a quest to actually get it back in colour. And I will do that in the next episode. 
But before I actually end it off, I want to talk to that one guy again, for the sake of saying that Tingle is now free. Really? You have rescued him? This is news I deem rather great. You are one stand-up indiv individual, indeed you are. Now I apologise, as I have but one other fav favour. I actually consider... I have actually... I'm actually con considering... There we go. Starting up a little shop here on the island, but I'm having trouble finding funding my venture. I have but one asset to my name. I wonder if you might buy it from me, perhaps. The person on this island have no interest in venturing out in these dangerous seas, so my chance of selling it to them is rather bleak. The bleakest I can describe. I'd really like to ask 200 rupees for it, but as a favour for rescuing my friends, perhaps we may strike a deal. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it. Oh, I don't have enough m rupees. I'll be right back. Two expendable pots later, and... Ooh, please buy that from me. It's not, a, it's not it anymore. Please purchase my only belonging. That is a very, very fine thing indeed. How does 80 rupees sound? I'll buy it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much indeed. I have received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me, what a happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, please take that. You got a boat sail. Press A while you're on the boat to pull it out and press B to put it away again. Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. Okay, so now we are ready to progress into the story. But I'm not gonna do that. Instead, there's a few things in Windfall Island that I want to do first. And ooh. So, I guess we'll do that in the next episode. So for now, my name's been Daz. You don't really care and I'll see you in a bit.